This is a guide on replacing an LCD on the Apple MacBook Pro Retina 15, model number A1398. To begin, shut down the laptop and disconnect the AC power. Flip the laptop over and remove 10 pentalobe screws from the bottom cover. All bottom cover screws are identical on this model. Carefully lift the cover near the hinge and set it aside. If the insides of the laptop are filled with dust bunnies, now is a good time to clean it out. You can use a regular drink straw connected to a vacuum cleaner to safely get rid of most dust and lint. It is a good idea to focus on the fans and the heat sinks as it will improve cooling and as a result, performance and longevity of your machine. Once the laptop has been cleaned out, disconnect the battery and proceed on disconnecting the video connector. Pick open the securing tab with a screwdriver and using both hands gently slide the video cable from its jack. Using a screwdriver, pick open three Wi-Fi antenna cables from the wireless network card. Disconnect the iSight camera connector with the help of a screwdriver. Carefully unglue the Wi-Fi and the iSight cables from their routing channels. Remove two rubber covers from the hinge screws and set them aside. Remove any remaining adhesive pads from the hinge screws. Carefully open the display at a 90 degree angle and hang it off the desk edge. Using a Torx 8 screwdriver, remove six hinge screws, three on each side. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove two hinge stoppers, one on each side of the hinge. At this point, you can carefully wiggle the top assembly away from the main body. Place the display assembly on the desk. Remove the plastic hinge cover by firmly pushing it to the right about a quarter of an inch and prying it out of its placement. Using a Phillips screwdriver, proceed on removing six tiny screws securing the Wi-Fi antenna assembly. Using a Torx 5 screwdriver, unscrew the left hinge from the display assembly. Set the two screws aside. Remove two Torx 5 screws out of the right hinge and set them aside. Remove another final Phillips screw hidden under the wires of the right hinge that secures the Wi-Fi antenna assembly. The video cable is secured with tape around the Wi-Fi antenna assembly. Using tweezers, unravel the securing tape and reposition the video cable. Unsnap the antenna assembly and keep it away from the display. Using tweezers, open the video connector bracket, disconnect and set the video cable aside. Remove two Phillips screws securing the LCD driver board, one on each end. Using a flat screwdriver, pop open the backlight connector near the video port. Bend out the LCD driver board and remove six Phillips screws underneath. At this point, the display assembly can be heated with a heat gun. The point of heating is to loosen the adhesive underneath the screen. A hair dryer can also be used instead. The entire assembly should be hot to the touch but not burning. Proceed on prying out the display from the assembly with a set of prying tools. If the display is not cracked, it will be after this. There is no practical way to remove a retina display matrix from the assembly without completely destroying it. You can use the heat gun to reheat the display assembly as you go along. Place the display assembly on a paper towel to better catch all the tiny shards of glass that will be coming out of the display. The glass matrix will be coming off in small pieces. Patience and care are recommended for this step. If you are lucky, the display will split in two parts right along the liquid crystal layer. This will allow you to remove the top layer as a large piece with the back layer still firmly glued in. Very important, you cannot use the heat gun once the back layer is exposed. The diffuser sheets underneath the LCD matrix will deform at the slightest contact with hot air. Diffuser sheets must be safe for the reinstallation. It is not recommended to touch the diffusers and no glass shards may be allowed to fall in the diffusers, otherwise you will need an entire new assembly. At this point, you can continue by hand to carefully and patiently separate the edge of the LCD matrix from where it is glued in without exposing the diffusers underneath. 
there are two distinct perimeters of glue identifiable by black strips under the screen that need to be separated. The entire process of separation may take up to a couple of hours. Two more Phillips screws secure the display positioning guide that are located under the silicone covers in each of the bottom corners of the assembly. Remove both screws, then remove the entire back layer of the LCD matrix as one piece. The display guides need to be salvaged for the reinstallation. Break it off the old LCD matrix together with the LCD driver and using an X-Acto knife, clean it off any remaining glass shards. The silicone piece that comes off the bottom of the display also needs to be cleaned off to be salvaged. Use an X-Acto knife to carefully separate any remaining glass. Straighten the silicone piece and set it aside. Proceed on cleaning up the display assembly adhesive edge to prepare it for the installation of the new LCD matrix. Using an X-Acto knife, remove all old black adhesive strips of the two perimeters around the assembly. Caution! The backlight diffusers still cannot be touched, otherwise they will be ruined. Be very mindful of them when cleaning up the adhesive. Once the edge has been cleaned up, you can perform a loose test of the new part. To perform a loose test, place the new LCD matrix into the cleaned up assembly with no adhesive. Reconnect the old backlight connector to the new LCD driver board. Gently reconnect the video cable to the video port of the new matrix. Place the main body perpendicular to the display assembly and align the video port on the motherboard with the video cable. Reconnect the battery connector. Carefully reconnect the AC power. MacBook Pro Retina will not start without an AC power if the battery has been disconnected, even if the battery is fully charged. The laptop should power on by itself. And as we can see, the new replacement matrix is working. Here's what the backlight looks underneath the screen. It is nice and even. All LEDs are on. Hold the power button to shut down the computer, disconnect the AC power and disconnect the battery from the motherboard. Pick open the video connector securing bracket and using both hands disconnect the video cable. Open the securing bracket on the LCD driver's side and remove the video cable from the LCD. At this point, the new adhesive can be applied to the display assembly. We are using a 3mm double-sided 3M adhesive tape. Each piece is cut to length and applied all around the two adhesive perimeters on the display assembly. Replace the metal display guide and secure it with 8 Phillips screws. Apply two strips of adhesive to the guide. Since you only get one shot at gluing the LCD matrix back in place, it's best to rehearse that action before you expose the adhesive strips. For an easier installation, it's best to position the assembly's top edge towards yourself. Please note, there is protective film applied to the back of the LCD matrix and sometimes numbers can be printed on it. The protective film must be removed immediately before gluing the LCD matrix back into the display assembly. Protect the back surface of the LCD matrix against scratches and dust once the film has been removed. Go ahead and expose all of the adhesive strips and blast the diffusers off with compressed air before installing the new LCD matrix. Carefully align the bottom edges of the LCD with the back cover and lower the new LCD onto the adhesive, making sure it is aligned with all the edges. Firmly press around the perimeter of the screen to catch the adhesive. Remove adhesive protector from the bottom edge of the LCD matrix. Bend the LCD driver in place and secure it with two screws, one on each side. Carefully reconnect the backlight connector. Plug in the video cable into the LCD driver and secure the connector's bracket. Realign the Wi-Fi antenna bar and route the video cable over it. Route the Wi-Fi cables and the eyesight camera cables over the plastic bar in its appropriate guides. Secure the Wi-Fi bar with seven screws, beginning with the one in the center.
Replace the two left hinge screws, then replace the two right hinge screws. Replace the strip of silicone at the bottom edge of the LCD. Replace the plastic hinge cover. Firmly press it in place, making sure that the bottom edge is fitted inside its groove, and push it left about 3 mm or a quarter inch to secure it in place. Remove the protective film from the LCD matrix. Place the main body of the laptop on the edge of the desk and replace the display assembly on its hinges. Secure the hinges with three screws on each side, but do not tighten the hinge screws fully just yet. Replace the hinge stoppers, two on each side. Lift the laptop up and close the display assembly. Align the display assembly with the main body at each corner and tighten the hinge screws. Reroute the antenna cables and the iSight cable. Carefully reconnect the iSight cable to the logic board. Reconnect the antenna cables to the airport card. Reconnect the video connector and secure its bracket. Replace the adhesive and rubber covers over the hinge screws. Reconnect the battery. Replace the back cover and secure it with 10 screws. Reconnect the AC power, turn the laptop on, and we're done.